once we swam in, in summer and all of a sudden like there was a, um, a drop of the degrees. It was like from 20, which is also not so much, but then it went to 15 and people were like, what, what happened? And it just, um, it was snowing in the mountains. So this relational aspect is really one where when you start and then you're beyond your only personal pleasure, you can really, um, you're interested also in the bigger picture and I also observe this in me. People are building their, their houses in the areas where before were floods. Now they build dikes and if something happened, they're like, oh, that's bad, but you, you, you build it there. It's like, and then you are screaming there are mosquitoes, but you buy land like in an area where there were wetlands, so you, you know that there will be mosquitoes. Talking with Jakob and talking with the boat companies or not talking with them, which is also a type of communication, um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, enforcing the laws, I think, across our countries, we have very different attitudes. I think the, the Viennese standard of observing traffic lights is much higher than in most places I see. People kind of like rules here a bit more. Yeah, of course, you maybe will not pee in the water anymore. I don't know why, why it went wrong with the cottage people. Like, why, I really get your superpower wish now. Like, uh, that's a quite striking logic there. They can't <laughs> swim there that. anymore, so they have... So, so, actually, this is the counter example of what we try or what we say that would work, maybe. And because they did have a relationship to the water and they still fucked it up. Yeah.